welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples based on the surface area of cuboid. In this video, we will see some more fun examples related to this. Thomas, why are all your shoes scattered like this? Yes, I have also been thinking since a long time that I should make cardboard boxes to keep them. Let me help you. Manas, we will both make boxes of exactly the same dimensions. The length, width and height of the box should be 35 cm, 25 cm and 12 cm respectively. The two friends made similar cuboid boxes. Manas, we both made similar boxes. But my box opens like this from the top and your box opens from the right side. So, have we both used the same amount of cardboard? We can find the answer to this only through mathematics. That means it's math time! Hmm, my box opens from the right side like this. So, this right surface is not present in my cuboid box. This means that to estimate the cardboard used to make the box, I need to find the sum of the areas of these surfaces. But the sum of the areas of these surfaces can be found by subtracting the area of this right surface from the total surface area of this cuboid box. Let me write the formula for the total surface area of the cuboid written in the formula book and the area of the right surface is equal to the height multiplied by the width of the box. Let me show this here by writing B times H. Now, I just have to solve this by writing the length of my box 35 centimeters, width 25 centimeters, and height 12 centimeters respectively in place of L, B, and H. Let me solve it quickly. Oh, 2890 square centimeters of cardboard has been used in my box. Let us see how Captain Thomas found the amount of cardboard used in his cuboid box. My box opens like this from the top. So this top surface is not present in my box. To estimate the cardboard used in the box, I need to add the areas of these remaining surfaces. These vertical surfaces then provide the lateral surface area of this cuboid box. This means that I can find this sum by adding the area of its base to the lateral surface area of the cuboid box in this way. This formula is written for the lateral surface area of a cuboid in the formula book. Let me write it here. And I know that the area of the bottom surface of the box is equal to its length times the width. So, I will write L times B here in the place of the area of the bottom surface. Friends, if the length, width and height of Thomas's box are 35 cm, 25 cm and 12 cm respectively, can you find the cardboard used in Thomas's box? Pause the video to try on your own and then match your answer. I can find the cardboard used in my box in this way. 1740 square centimeters of cardboard has been used in my box. Manas 2890 square centimeters of cardboard has been used to make your box and 
1740 square centimeters of cardboard has been used for my box. Look, we both have exactly the same dimensions. But because of the different way our boxes are opened, the measurements of the cardboard used to make our boxes are different. You understood it right, Thomas. Now let us quickly return to our world and make our boxes and put your shoes in them before your mother returns. The two children made more boxes together and packed Thomas's scattered shoes in them. Friends, in this video we saw another interesting example based on surface area of cuboid. So hopefully you now have a good understanding of the surface area of cuboid.